So you spent some time away from your email and your inbox now looks like this. Don't worry because I'm going to show you 7 Microsoft Outlook skills that will help you manage and organize your inbox. Skill number one for helping you manage your inbox is displaying your messages and Outlook gives you a great preview like the window on my right of individual messages but maybe if I want to quickly group emails together that are similar and put them into subfolders what I have to do is change the display of them so I can quickly get a preview and then group them together all at the same time instead of going through each email individually. So what I would do, two things, is extend this preview window. So open this up or by moving this to the right. And then also there's another thing you can do in the view tab. So click here, go to change view. If your default isn't in compact mode, put move it to compact mode. And then you'll notice that I don't get a great preview of the messages here, of multiple messages at the same time. I just get like the first line. So we wanna change this message preview to three lines so that we get kind of a, and we'll say this folder. And then you can, and then you know emails are linked. Uh, are they dealing with the same subject and that kind of thing. And then we know how to group emails like we're gonna do in the next step. Okay, so now we wanna create a subfolder in our inbox that will group certain messages together. Maybe it's, in my scenario, I have an introduction assignment where I ask my students to ask me three questions about the course and I wanna group those all together so I don't leave any out and I don't miss any. What I would do is just click on the inbox folder and then click on the folder tab and then just click on new folder. And now I can create a new kind of subfolder within the inbox. And I'm gonna call that one the introductions folder. And then I'm gonna make sure that the inbox is selected and press okay. And then you should see it come up. And then it's right here. I'm gonna move this to the top to prioritize it. So that's my introductions. And then I'll show you how you can use the quick step skill to quickly add emails to this introductions folder. So there's an Outlook feature called Quick Steps, which provides a shortcut to perform redundant tasks with a single keystroke. But we have to set it up first. So we're going to, in the Quick Steps box here, click on Create New, and then we're gonna name this Quick Steps. So this is gonna be called the Introductions. And then we wanna choose an action. So we wanna to move to Folder, and then we have to choose the folder. So we're going to choose the Introductions folder, obviously. You can do like a quick shortcut if you'd like, like if you want a keyboard shortcut, or you can just click with your mouse, it's up to you. And then we'll click Finish to create that Quick Step. Now what's great about this Quick Step, if you have a long string of emails that belong in the same folder, like I do here where it's the introductions and you know order the three questions. I can just click on the first one in the thread and then just click introductions, introduction, 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 introduction. Just keep going. Just make sure they actually belong there. But this is why it's really great that we've got that big preview so I can actually tell if these are introductions or just general queries. And then I'm going to keep clicking this introduction until we're all done. And now we've got our introduction subfolder and uh, I've got a lot of emails to read and respond to. Now there's a way to prioritize your emails. Maybe you don't have the time to answer all of them at the moment, but there are certain ones that stick out that you have to get to immediately. So we can create a search folder to do that. Let's say we want to create an immediate folder that we have to respond to based on messages that have come in that you're, that somebody on your team has marked as high importance and has at least one attachment. So it has an attachment, it's something that they want you to work on and it's also deemed important by someone in your organization. So we can do that, we can set up a search folder in the folder tab and then we'll click on the new search folder and we'll go down to customize this because there are some great options here but none that have both the high importance and one attachment or more with the email option. So we're going to choose both. So we'll choose what the name is. So we'll click choose and then maybe now in all caps so we know it's very important. And then we click criteria to select what we're looking for. And we want to make sure that we're looking for, we'll look for more choices and we'll look for emails that are set to high importance and only items with one or more attachments. So emails that have an attachment or maybe multiple attachments and someone in your organization deem them as high importance, those are probably priority and you should really uh, get to those quickly. So we'll set a search folder for emails that meet that criteria and then we'll press OK. We'll press OK a bunch of times, so press OK. Okay, and then under your search folders tab here, the now group will pop up and now we can get to some very important emails. Now, if there's something that can't be addressed in an email and it also is a priority, you might wanna flag it, which just means it'll draw attention to the email and we'll also put the email in your task folder and it can even be serve as a reminder that you need to help this person or get the job done. So what you wanna do is click on the flag but there's also more options. You can add a reminder to this when you need to help this person out. 
So we can say reminder, and let's say I want to help this person out tomorrow. I'm kind of busy today, but I want to remind myself that I have to help them. So I'll type in just tomorrow, press enter. Now, what's also great about flagging emails is that it creates a to-do list. So you can see that uh, because I added that flag, it says that I'm going to uh, help somebody with their outlook. So that gets added to your tasks or your to-do list. So that's great. Now, another way to organize your inbox is to categorize by color. So we're going to add some color to some of our inbox messages. And you'll notice in this introduction subfolder that I have four sections of the same course. And I have four separate places that I have to grade these emails to. So it would be great if I could color code them and then I would know uh, how many students from each section completed their assignment. So I'm gonna create a category called the 404 crew. So you can see a few of these students are from the 404 section and I'll know that with a color instead of having to look up the number 404. So the way you create a category is I'll select one 404, 404 member and then I will click on the category drop arrow and then I'll look at all categories and what I want to do is create a new category. So I'll click new and then this will be the 004 crew. I should have come up with a cooler name but here it is. Um, and then I can just pick a unique color. So maybe uh, this will be the, the teal color. Okay so then I'll press OK and then I can start categorizing every 404 email with the 004 crew. So that way I can just quickly get a, a sense how many people from each section completed their assignments. And now what's great about categories is that now that I have a few categories here, I can filter out other sections and just focus on the one group. So if I want to start grading my 004 group, I would just click this drop arrow here. This is kind of the filter within this mailbox. And then I'm going to choose categories. And there I'll actually do it the opposite way where the, the category I need is at the top. And you see that uh, my 004 students are all grouped together now. So if you have an email conversation that maybe goes off the rails a little bit, maybe it had something to do with you at first, but not anymore, and you want to you want to place the emails in the delete folder and also future emails in the delete folder, there is the ignore option. So this will just keep your inbox uncluttered because some of these conversations that are popping up that have nothing to do with you will no longer go to your inbox. They'll go to the delete folder. So you just pick the conversation Go to the home tab, click ignore, and then from there, the current emails in that conversation will get deleted, but also future emails in that conversation will get deleted. Now, the only way to get the attention of your colleagues when you're sending out very important email messages is to type something like this, where you say, this is me when you don't reply, and then have a very adorable but very sad cat meme just under that message. Okay, I'm joking. There's tons of Outlook features that I want you to see in this next video that'll help you gain the attention of your colleagues when it comes to sending out very important emails. That'll be in the next video. I'll see you over there.